and from one distinguished parliamentarian to another. Our final speaker this evening is a former Minister of Foreign Affairs, so he certainly understands diplomacy. He is the current chair of the Oireachtas Committee on Foreign Affairs and Defence, so he also understands the contribution research in Ireland has made globally. But most importantly, he is a TD for Leash Offaly, so he's awfully well equipped to talk about Burr in particular. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Flanagan. David, can I say thank you very much. Uh, being last speaker uh, of 10 is uh, not the most enviable of positions to be, uh, but I'm really delighted to join you on this important occasion, uh, acknowledging uh, with indeed my congratulations to Lord Martin Rees, uh, acknowledging the presence uh, of our Taoiseach and Archbishop MacDool of Armagh. Uh, as a parliamentarian, uh, I extend a warm, warm greeting uh, on behalf of the Oireachtas uh, to Lord Martin Rees, fellow parliamentarian, member of the House of Lords, and indeed it's most regrettable that he's not joining us for the entire uh, of our proceedings this evening. Uh, but on everybody's behalf and on behalf of the Parliament, I congratulate Martin uh, on this most prestigious award, the Robinson Medal for Science. Uh, I thank the Astronomical Observatories of Ireland for hosting this event in the splendid surrounds of the Bank of Ireland College Green. Uh, this is a special occasion as we celebrate the partnership between the Astronomical Observatories of Ireland at Armagh and, and Dunsink and Burr. Uh, it's a fine chamber, as I've said, it's been beautifully preserved. Uh, it's a real part of our history and heritage, uh, which stands as a monument to the tradition of parliamentary democracy, which remains so highly cherished in both Ireland and the United Kingdom. The era in which observatories were established was a most progressive one, coinciding as it did with the publication on these islands of Tom Paine's Right of Man and Mary Wollstonecraft's Vindication of the Rights of Women. In fact, the Vindication of the Rights of Women was published by James Moore in 1793, just across the road in number 45 College Green. In this most historic building, steeped in parliamentary tradition, I acknowledge the great work of parliamentarians who sat here. In particular, the leader of that parliament, Henry Grattan, who, like Lord and Lady Ross, enjoyed close connections with my constituency, Vlish Offaly. In fact, under the last will and testament of Henry Grattan, whose statue we passed on the way in, he stated that it was his earnest wish and desire to be buried on his lands at Moyana in Vickerstown, in County Leash. His wishes, however, were never carried out because his parliamentary friends at Westminster uh, decided instead to give him what they described as a grand farewell. And instead, Grattan was buried uh, inside the main door of Westminster Abbey. The long connections between observatories and their international contribution to science echoes the kind of friendship links that we have always sought to maintain between our jurisdictions and our islands. The close links between the observatories have endured since the 18th century through fundamental constitutional change, through war, through famine and conflict, and indeed the more recent troubles on our island. We now stand on the brink of a future in which innovation and science education will be key to a competitive future on the global stage. The exploration of our shared history across the island in ways that can release benefits for all of our communities, something that this project can achieve in respect of scientific history and the rich tradition of scholarly research for which Ireland is renowned. So the work of our observatories reaches across continents It's part of our global tradition. And I hope that the long-lived and genuine ambitious nature of this partnership will be supported by governments in both jurisdictions and they'll recognise the fact 
that this is a collaboration that can attract the support of everybody. Offaly, Armagh and Fingal councils, as home to the observatories, have so much to gain from this regeneration and from public participation that the partnership is exploring and can realise. In essence, the, the North-South collaboration, East-West collaboration, is about connecting us to develop shared assets on a global stage, realising our shared priorities and rekindling lasting connections among people and places in a way that can be an example to the world that we have moved beyond conflict by rebuilding, by sharing and by reconciling in ways that benefit all our people and all our communities. Thank you. Thank you to all of our speakers this evening. Like many parents on the island of Ireland, my wife Ruth and I have one of our children living on the other side of the Atlantic. A guy from Indiana stole her heart. They're living in Rhode Island with their two little girls. And on the day Sarah left, I wrote this quote to her from the author Gilbert Parker. Love knows no distance. It hath no continent. Its eyes are for the stars. And when she's homesick, I encourage her to step outside and look at the stars, and remember, we're all under the same sky. So may our political leaders, North and South, join with our scientists, North and South, to appreciate fully that we live under the same sky and encourage this collaboration as the observatories of Ireland move forward in peace and prosperity to even greater things. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your evening.